Hello, Pisces viewers. As most of you know, I was just in Seattle County uh, trying to find the soulmate I've been channeling, um, but I am back in California now, back home, so able to do my readings again. I am going to look into your situation, whatever your person is thinking, feeling, wanting, uh, whatever action they might be taking towards you, whatever the cards want to say. And then I'm going to get some channeled messages here from my For the Love of the Moon Oracle. So let's start here. What do you need to know right now, Pisces? And in the last reading I did, I was getting that someone is being very self-destructive. It's like someone just hit rock bottom and they had a huge perspective shift. And that perspective shift uh, was leading them towards reconciling with you. Or it could be you hit rock bottom and you're going through this awakening and this perspective shift and that's leading you to um, to look at a connection that you might have missed before. Maybe someone that you just saw as a friend before that you want to, you know, give it a second shot. But let's see where we're at now. So stagnation, complacency, power, struggle, chaser, chasee. Soulmate, past life connection, soul contract, nostalgia, longing. Pause, reflection, rest, manipulation and deception. Truth and clarity. Toxicity, red flags, hidden motives. Love offer and commitment. I think this is just a quick message for a few of you that there might be someone toxic that's trying to come back around and I'm just going to do this spread really quickly and then get into the, um, the main reading here. So this is just a, just a side message here. I feel like someone that kept you stagnant and kept you kind of complacent and stuck in the past is wanting to come back around. There is a soul contract here that you need to get to the root of, a soul contract that you may, might need to end or you need to address it. You need to, it's like, it's like this karmic pattern that you keep repeating with someone that needs to be ended. Seems like either you're chasing them and they're running or they're chasing you and you're not available. It's like there's a power struggle here. It's very off balance, uh, very codependent, very toxic. It's like someone's nostalgic for you now, but it's like this soul contract is keeping you guys stuck together. Or for those, for some of you, it could also be that you did a love spell on this person and maybe now you're not wanting them so much, but it's like you guys keep, you guys can't get over each other. It's like you keep coming back together and you can't figure out why. And someone might have done a love spell, either you or them. And that needs to be broken so that you guys can clear this energy up because it's like, it's like you're not like your souls are not in love anymore, if that makes sense. It's just like codependent. It's like you can't let go of each other for good and you don't know why. So if this comes in, you need to pause and reflect and really be honest with yourself about how manipulative and deceptive this person was. Like there's truth coming in. There's clarity coming in. But um, you need to be honest with yourself about the red flags, the hidden motives, the toxicity, because you might be getting a love offer from this toxic ex out of nowhere. Um, so you really need to be kind of prepared and on alert for that. You know, be honest with yourself when this comes in and address that. Whatever the, the karmic lesson, the soul contract, the, the love spell, whatever it was, whatever it is that keeps you guys connected, address it so you can free yourself of this energy and clear this up so you can manifest your actual life partner because that's a karmic partner. I feel like at one point you guys thought you were life partners, but I think at this point you kind of know that's a karmic partner, but it's familiar. But but it's time to move past that energy. You know, it's ultimately up to you, but I'm just saying that just to be mindful of that. If someone pops from the past pops up, uh, especially with Mercury retrograde, that might be coming up. So let's get into the, the main person, the, the true love, the potential life partner. What can you tell me about that person? A sense of belonging, home, safe space. 
dreams, visions, telepathy, submissive and weak-willed, sex and seduction, spying, Fast moving energy, chaos, sudden turn of events, reconciliation, some of you are trying to make someone jealous and it's working, cold, guarded, distrusting, apology, regret, okay. I feel like things are really shifting in your favor with this connection. I feel like they took you for granted a little bit. Like they didn't like take, take you for granted too much, but there was a little bit of that there where it's like they felt like you were their person. They did feel at home with you. They did feel safe. They did feel comfortable with you, but they just kind of figured like, you know, you guys were meant for each other. They'd be able to do what they need to do and they could come back and you'd be there. You know, it's like they, they just... I just took it for granted to some degree. And it feels like now there isn't a whole lot going on with this connection, but it feels like it's gonna move in very quickly. Because you have dreams, visions, telepathy here. So it kind of feels like there's a lot going on in the 5D, like there's a lot going on with this connection um, psychically, like you guys are picking up on each other's energies. I feel like maybe in the past or even presently, you've prayed for reconciliation with this person. You've prayed for them to see the light, to see the error of their ways, to recognize what's in front of them, to, to open up to the nature of this connection. And it feels like it's finally happening. It feels like the divine is, is listening to your prayers because it feels like this person is, or you're doing witchcraft and your witchcraft is working. If you're doing like reconciliation magic, it's working. Um, your intentions, your affirmations, all of that stuff is is working. It's it's working in the higher realms in the five D, because this person's having dreams, visions. Um, there's telepathic com con communication going here, all going on here. It just feels like it feels like you shifted things. It just feels like you really shifted things in your favor. Like before things were at a standstill, or they kind of had you on hold. Um, not that they were like toxic or abusive or anything like that, but just that they kind of, you know, they figured they could do their own thing. And now it's like something hit them and they're worried that they're going to lose you. Like either they saw you with someone else or they think you might be dating someone else or they're realizing that, you know, maybe you usually text them every week and you haven't done that lately uh, usually like maybe you dress a certain way and you're dressing differently, you're acting differently. You're there. You're not as predictable as you were before, before it's like, it's almost like this person likes to compartment compartmentalize things. Like they like to have things in these little easy to understand boxes. Like, okay, I'm going to go to school. I'm going to, um, you know, get custody or I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And when I'm, when all that's done, then I'm going to come back to my person and we're going to be together. It's like that kind of energy where they just kind of think they can do whatever. Um, like they have it all planned out. And you've just, I don't know what you've done. I don't know if it's just like an energy shift that they're telepathically picking up on or if you've said something, if you've given an ultimatum. But there's some kind of energy here where it's like they don't feel like you're as predictable as you were in the past. They don't feel like you're definitely a part of that plan like you were before. Like they want you to be, but they just feel like it's not... Like they try to control it and have everything planned out just the way they wanted it, you know, and you're kind of like, no, screw that. I'm not going to wait another six months, another year, another two years, however long for you to get your crap together. Like you need to figure it out now. Like you're, you're not going to put your life on hold anymore and they can feel that energy. So keep doing what you've been doing because it is working. So it's like they're submissive they're you know weak-willed submissive like they're see this energy see this person that's see how they're giving in they're giving in to the dreams to the visions to the romance to the telepathic 
um, energy to the, um, you know, the seductive energy. See how she's kind of like he or she is kind of looking away, kind of, you know, open, but but kind of not, not like playing hard to get, but just not as available as you might have been in the past. You know, it's like a very seductive kind of siren type energy here. And it's almost like this person was really focused on work or they were really focused, yeah, like really focused on their career or on money or getting their life together or doing this and that. And they just, like I said, they thought they could plan it all out. Like, you know, in six months, I'll come back to you. You know, once I'm ready, we'll be together. Like they just figured you would just wait. And now they're like, oh my God, what if, what if they don't wait? Like something shifted, you know, and now they're spying on you because we got fast moving energy here and they, they're having to spy now. So it's like chaos, sudden turn of events, like a tower moment. Something shook them up and made them think, oh my God, I might be losing my person. Um, and you know, like I said, the last reading I did, I was getting that they were self-destructive. They hit rock bottom. They had a huge perspective shift. So maybe when they were in the, it, like for some of them, they might've been in this toxic energy before where they kind of took you for granted or blamed you for things. And now that they have this new perspective, they're kind of realizing how lucky they were to have you and how supportive and loving you were through their darkest times. And they're like, oh my God, like, why did I not see this sooner? Why did I not realize this sooner? Like they're having these epiphanies. Um, so they're going to, it seems like they're going to move quickly to try to reconcile with you. Um, and you're, like I said, your energy is like, you're not even, I don't think you're even sure about this anymore. I don't even know if this, I don't, I don't even know if this is you just playing hard to get. I think for some of you, you're actually kind of like, eh, I don't know about this. Like, you know, I wanted you so much before, but you're, you you've taken so long. Like you've taken so long to get things together to see what you had with me. So a lot of you, it's like you're going to have this love offer coming in, but you're going to be kind of cold and guarded and kind of distrusting and kind of uh, questioning it, you know, and that's honestly going to make this person try even harder because they're going to they're going to they're gonna want you back and they're going to give you this apology, this regret, you know, they regret not seeing the truth sooner. And if this is your story and you want a private paid private reading, just send me an email. My email is right below in the description box. It is dragonenchantress at awol.com. Um, but yeah, you can just copy and paste it right from the, the um, description box below. Any donations are appreciated. They, a lot of them are probably going to be going towards my trip in, to Washington in July to try to look for my soulmate again. Okay, new love, faded encounter. And please uh, subscribe if it resonates. Isolation, loneliness, emptiness, intention. Yeah, a lot of you are using magic or using intention, um, you know, power, manifestation to make this happen. Yeah, willpower, strength, confidence. Like, you guys are really stepping into your power. Publicity, social media. I feel like someone's going to get left out on the cold here. Because you might... I feel like you've been focusing on manifesting this specific person back. And they, they're not a bad person. I don't feel like they're a bad person. I'm not getting a bad energy from them. I'm just kind of feeling like they just put you on hold for too long. They just... They're a little bit overly logical and kind of controlling about things. And they're just the type of person that likes to have everything planned out. Like... They can't be too spontaneous. They just, they want to know, you know, someone that needs step-by-step -step directions every part of the way. Like, they, they, they need that control. It's someone that kind of gets afraid almost if they don't have a, a strong sense on where their life is going. You know, it's, it's not the type of person that could just go with the flow. But, yeah, like I said, now your energy is kind of unpredictable, so it's almost like it scares them a little bit. It's like they don't know if they still have you. Um... And I am getting that, like, they're going to have this epiphany, or they've had this epiphany already for some of you. And they're just scared of losing you. They're like, wow, like, it's not predictable anymore. And they're going to want to come rushing back in and apologize and win you back and just, you know, pull you back in. But you have this new love. 
So I feel like a lot of you are trying to manifest this old person back or in the past. See, with reconciliation magic, the thing with reconciliation magic is a lot of the time you will try to manifest someone back. And if you're holding on to it too tightly and thinking about it too much, like sometimes it can almost block the manifestation just because you're like, you're like, you're like questioning it too much. You know, it works better when you just let things flow naturally. Like when you do the witchcraft and, or put the intention into the universe and then you just kind of just let it flow. Just let things happen. Um, so some of you are just naturally starting to get tired of this other person. You're just kind of tired of waiting. You're tired of going the heartbreak, tired of, you know, them having to control everything, tired of the not the uncertainty, all of it. Um, so some of you, it's like you're letting go and you're going forward. And that is what's allowing your reconciliation magic to start taking effect. Finally, it's like all that magic was building up for months or even, you know, maybe even longer for some of you. Um, but you were holding on to it. So it's almost like you were like blocking it, but now you're starting to let go. So it's all coming in at once. Um, so not only are you manifesting the old person back that you were trying to manifest, but you're also manifesting someone new that's either just come in or coming in and someone's going to get left, left out in the cold. Probably the old person, to be honest, you're probably not going to want what you originally thought you wanted. It's a really interesting energy, but yeah, your, your intentions, your reconciliation and your intentions for love, for reconciliation, they're all coming in quick. Yes. Yeah, someone's afraid of rejection. They know that their happiness is with you, but like. I just feel like someone's jealous. Like someone knows that you have other options. They want to come like pull you back in again. They're sad. They're upset. They're, they're desperate to pull you back in, but it might be too late. You might be ending this pattern with them. You might be breaking through and choosing new love instead for a lot of you. So, um, yeah, like I said, if this is your reading and you want a paid private reading, just send me an email. Um, any donations are appreciated. And please subscribe if it resonates. I'll get a few more messages here. You come off uninterested and, and detached. Yeah, you're you're not eating out of the palm of their hand anymore. <laughs> Your energy draws me in. You're mesmerizing. You're beautiful inside and out. You have multiple potential partners. Your energy is magnetic. Yeah, you're manifesting. You're manifesting love right now for sure. Sometimes I cry over you. So this person's getting very frustrated over you because they know, they can feel, even if you haven't said anything, they can still feel energetically that you're moving on from this. I looked for love in all the wrong places. Might still be too little too late though. I'm working hard to remove all the obstacles that have been keeping us apart. I had a huge epiphany. Yeah, lots of epiphanies for this group. I regret letting you go. I never should have left. I'm going through a rebirthing process, a psychic awakening. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching.